great day for you. You're, you're back. Fantastic day. Feeling good, feeling re-energised, feeling like I've got a new lease of life. And I'm just looking forward to it. I've got a big smile on my face everywhere I go. And uh, I'm just feeling good. So I'm 8.31st. It's the first stop. What have the last couple of years been like for you? It's, it's clearly been a difficult time. Yeah, if I'm brutally honest, the last year has been, uh, it's been hard. It's been hard. Uh, I have been depressed. I don't like saying it, but I have. And you read all things in boxing news and, and the papers about fighters being depressed and, and getting like off track, like getting distracted uh, and losing and losing focus on the game and getting disillusioned with the game. And I can see how easy that is. But I've got a good team around me. I've got a good family. And they've kept me on the right track. Uh, but that's all sorted. I'd rather not talk about the past. I'd rather talk about the future. And I'm feeling good. Team De Gaulle, Matchroom, Sky Sports. Sounds good. It's going to be good. So enjoy the ride. Don't want to talk about the past. Do you ever consider walking away from the sport? Or did you always think you would get back to this point? Because it's, it's such a huge fight for you at Wembley. It's huge. Of course. No, if I'm, if I'm being honest, uh, there was a time last year where I was doing the numbers of what I've got saved, maybe what properties I've got. I've got the wife, so I've got a little pension. Like, can I give up? But it's stupid. It's a no-brainer. Why would I do that? But that's, but that's how sad and how dark... That's, what, that's the kind of dark place I was in. I was thinking about retiring, like giving up. And the next couple of years of my career are crucial and they're important, man. They're like the best years of my career, 28. The next five years are massive for me. But that's the kind of place I was in. But I'm just lucky I've got a good team, as I say. Uh, mm. You're back. 80,000 people, Wembley, Ooh. on the Frock Groves card as well. It's, it just doesn't get any bigger for you, does it? As I say, man, listen, when I announced that I was a free agent, I had everyone approach me from America, promoters over in my home England, everyone, everyone in boxing you can think of got in contact with me. But the deal, the deal that Eddie put in front of me, uh, the path, the money, the fights, I couldn't refuse. And it's a massive platform, it's got ice schools, my best. The production, the whole build up to fights, everything is the best and probably with the best promoter, one of the best promoters in the world. So I couldn't refuse this. In terms of the future, I know you can't look, afford to look too far ahead, but you would face the winner of Frock and Groves if you won your fight. We all know about your history with George Groves in particular. Yeah. Well, there you go. And this, this, this way it's about boxing in these massive fights that people want to see, four world titles. If I get past Brandon Gonzalez, I box the winner of Frock Groves. So that's my drive, that is my drive. This guy is not standing in front of me. Brandon Gonzalez will not knock me off my path to become a world champion and make history and become the first Olympic gold medalist to become a world champion. Once I get my chance, which I am now, I'm gonna take it with both hands and I will take it. Okay, finish yeah. on that note, good luck with it all, thank you.